Community Blood Center is unveiling its new state-of-the-art blood mobile today. Our Emily Byer is getting a sneak peek ahead of their ribbon cutting. Good morning, Em. Hey, good morning, Brooke. Hello, everyone. We are on the move. We're ready to save lives. We're heading over to Nina. I'm joined by Christine again. We are buckled up, ready to go. And this is cool. This is what it's like to ride in this mobile. We were just saying, I feel like, I, I personally feel like I've ridden in a car before, you guys, but I feel like I've never ridden in a car before. This is so cool. <laughs> this is very cool. I mean, from the windows where you could see a mile away, it's just, it's very awesome and, and really exciting that we've got this on the road and off to uh, Theta Care. Yes, definitely. And so taking a look out here, again, like you were mentioning, the giant windows. We've got Mary Ellen at the helm. She's taking us over to Theta Care. We're very excited to get there and start this blood drive here this morning and obviously unveil this incredible uh, mobile that you guys have. And we were kind of talking about some of the great things about it earlier with how there's, I mean, you have more height. There's just a lot more room to move. It is, and um, you know, it was fun seeing the staff on, on board earlier and getting getting ready for the day and, and just yeah. like learning where everything is and, and getting really excited about this space. It, it's just so fun and, and awesome, and, and I can't wait for donors to experience it. Absolutely, and like we were talking earlier again, it's been a really harsh winter for a lot of folks, so this is just going to be another one to add to the fleet to get out there and make you know, make it so you guys can come to donors. Exactly. We know that from donors that the, the most, one of the most common reasons for donating is, is if we can make it convenient. So mobiles like this make it incredibly convenient for people to come out and donate. And um, there's no better time than the present because the, the winter, as you mentioned, has been has been quite severe in terms of, of just experiencing winter this year, but also in terms of blood drives. And when in that bitter cold snap and, oh, and then yeah. the following snow, we, we lost about 500 unit, 500 donations due to canceled blood drives, canceled schools, and um, it really made an impact on, on the blood supply in, in a negative way. So um, people have been, been coming out the last few weeks and donating, and, and that's great because yeah. as we said before, you never know when, when you might need blood. Absolutely, and that's why this is so exciting, you guys. So we are going to keep on moving. We're going to get to Theater Care over in Nina. Gino, how's the weather in Nina? <laughs> Uh, I think it's okay. It's going to be a little chilly, Emily. Temperatures in the single digits, but I think you'll survive. Uh